In this video, we're going to show you how to import from Visio into Simulate and the way that it imports and what the objects turn into once they have been imported. The first thing you need to do is pick a Visio diagram that we want to use. So if we go into Visio, we can see on the screen a really simple four-step Visio diagram on one page. Then what we need to do is save it in the right format. So if we go to File and Save, we save it as an XML drawing so that Simulate can read the file in the appropriate way. So if you choose XML drawing and save our file, remembering what we called it, we're going to come out of Visio and go into a blank Simulate page. If you click the file menu and open and change the type of file you're looking for as a .vdx file, you can see the drawing we saved as a VDX. So if you simply choose Open, you can see the four objects from Visio have been imported into Simulate. And now I can drag them down onto the main part of my screen. I can draw a box around them, right click, and then align them in the same way I would with any other simulation object. You can zoom in and we can see the four objects which are part of the process. The next thing that we want to do is look at what kind of objects have been imported to simulate from Visio. If we click on our first object here and look at the top of the ribbon, we can see that this has been imported as a work entry point. This is correct because the first thing that needs to happen is our simulation needs to allow work to enter the system. If we click on the next object, we can see that it's been imported as a work center. We have another work center here and a work exit point because there has to be a point where work items can leave the system. Okay, so this is all broadly correct, but we don't want this waits for server section. We want it to be a storage bin. So all we have to do is delete it and drag a storage bin onto the screen. Delete the routing arrow. So all we have to do is hold down our shift key and use the mouse to draw a routing arrow to and from the storage bin. All there remains to do is we need to run the simulation and you can see it's behaving the same way as a normal simulation model would behave. We can look at the values that are attached to these. These have default values added in. The work entry point has an exponential distribution and takes an average of 10 minutes. The work center takes an average of 10 minutes as well. And there's no time attached to the work exit point. So that's how you import from Visio. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video useful.